This is a 1993 Toyota pickup. North American driver sits on the left. This is a totally base truck. There's not a single option or accessory. Um, so there's no AC, um, etc. And I'm just going to show you a few things about the heater, blower, motor. Mine was running out of balance and it was only running on one speed. Um, I had a suspicion why it was out of balance, but the speed was a different issue. So, this truck's had some issues with mice making nests in it, and it had acorns in the blower cage, which was most of the reason it's um, out of balance. I took the acorns out, it plugged it in, it's still a little bit out of balance, but I'm not going to bother with it. Also, it was only running on one speed. There's a heater blower motor resistor, which um, some people say to check, but that um, was good on this truck. And what it turned out to be was the switch. And um, what I'll show you, I'm going to show you three things. I'm going to show you where the resistor pack is for the for this uh, heater blower motor. Um, I'm going to show you how to put that motor back in without taking everything else off. And I'm going to show you how I fixed uh, this switch. So um, I've got this plastic safe contact cleaner. I got this at Napa, CRC. And all I, the thing that made this uh, motor start running again on multiple speeds was getting these contacts cleaned up. And I just, what I did was I sp sprayed this in there and make sure it's a plastic safe one some of these things look really harsh they'll eat up your they'll eat up your plastic you know what if you're just spraying stuff around like this you, you can't use one of those so get the plastic safe one um as far as i can tell from the feel from the feel of things the switch is just immediately right back there anyway that what i just did there when i just showed you is what got my fan speeds back it runs on all four speeds. There's low, there's a, a low medium, there's a high medium, and then there's high. Um, so underneath here, so this this is the original blower motor. It's not a replacement. There's three screws. One, two, three. There's one contact, a two-pin contact that um, it's got a catch. You need to squeeze in on the side when you pull it out and um, I've also got removed here the the harness connector for the resistor pack um, which was in the way I didn't actually need to mess with anything um, so underneath here I'm trying to come down without turning the camera over that that right there is a the resistor pack um, there's just two screws and it comes out And the plug is just a typical pl plug with the clip on the side. So if you need to replace that, uh, it's super it's super simple. I actually can't tell you whether you can get at it with the blower motor in place. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, I've got the blower motor out. So and um, I can't recall what the scenario was with it before I took it out. So the last thing I wanted to show you is, um, and this is all kind of a puzzle, but I I didn't want to have to unbolt everything underneath, drop a whole bunch of parts just to get this motor out. So I took the three screws out, which was a little bit of a challenge for the, to reach the back one, but it worked. I used this um, quarter inch drive with a little universal on it and I was able to get that third screw. But then I couldn't get it back in. And I was trying to figure out, I couldn't remember what orientation the fan was when I put it back in. And that's the last thing I'm going to show you here. So you want to come up. So the, the thing that you got to pay attention to is this sound deadening material here on the back of the bulkhead. And you want to come up with the fan back up a little bit sort of like this 
and there's this and the fan is it's got this this sort of arm that sticks out where one of the screws mounts point that forward up towards the glove box towards your face and come in come in like this like I was trying to shove it in back in like this because I couldn't remember it's not going to go in like that you need to you need to come in like this and, and then you can swing it up in there the thing that you got a feel for though is that the the fan cage this white plastic part that spins wants to hang up on this the edge of this sound editing material so come in like this get it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand on the camera there I got it past there and then you can swing that up and again now the motor body is hanging up on that sound editing material edge of it there okay so and now you can spin this thing around to get the screws to match their positions so that's the secret for putting that thing back in there's only, the only screws I took out to get the fan motor out are the three that hold it into the, the heater box so take the two take those two harnesses off the one well before you take everything you know before you try and remove the fan take those the harness wire off for the fan take the harness wire off for that resistor block get them out of the way take the three screws off the fan and then you can drop it out just the reverse of what I just showed you you want to spin it around so that arm is towards your face and then swing it down so the cage comes down along the bulkhead and um, and that's all there is to it so I had I could say acorns and nonsense in there um, and if you're if you only got the fan working on one speed before you do anything else um, like you know if you don't have acorns in your fan obviously you don't need to drop it out but if you only got one speed this is a fast and easy thing to try um, because in my case re replacing the resistor pack would have been a waste of time all right so that's that's it again this was a 1993 Toyota pickup it's just base model no AC all right bye